Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're at Exodus chapter 6, verses 6 to 9. Let's read it. Say therefore to the sons of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will deliver you from their bondage. I will also redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments. Then I will take you for my people, and I will be your God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who brought you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will bring you to the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I will give it to you for a possession. I am the Lord. So Moses spoke thus to the sons of Israel, but they did not listen to Moses on account of their despondency and cruel bondage. So a new statement comes from God to his people through his servant Moses. God tells them through his servant Moses, I will redeem you with power and, and great judgments. Then I will take you for my people. Then, then he will bring them into the land that he's promised them. Now, there's an interesting dynamic going on here because they were already his people, weren't they? But now he says he will take them for his people. Hey, what's going on here? These people were God's people. They have been God's people, but their, their resilience under uh, worldly pleasure and pressure and the, just the force of culture and society in Egypt has been wearing them down. I mean, it's been centuries as they've declined and gotten quite quite comfortable at first, and now they're very uncomfortable. They're being oppressed, pressed down, forced labor, basically a slavery. Many were learning the ways of Egypt. Many were beginning to see things in pretty much the same light as the Egyptians were. And their distinctiveness to him as his people is declining. You know, by this point, even though they were under hard oppression, I'm sure that very few of them really had any desire really to leave Egypt. Some, some did, but some were, that would just like be, you know, too much change, too much change. We, we've got too much stress. We've got to do these bricks, you know, we've got to get this going. We've got to solve this. We've just got too much on our plate right now. We can't really stop and think about this liberty stuff. And what would it mean? I mean, it's been hundreds of years. They've been somewhere else. They don't know what it means to be in the land that God has promised them. This is a people who needed to renew their sense of who God is and of who they are. And so God is going to work to bring them into that, I don't know, that attitudinal place where they need to be so that they are enabled to be delivered. Right now, they're not ready to be delivered. And I think about our current situation, you know, here, and, uh, you know, the Protestant Reformation. That was back in the 1500s, mostly, and into the early 1600s. Centuries have gone by, a long time, similar amount of time to what happened in Egypt. Have we really, do we really remember those of us that have followed and, and let God speak to us through the scriptures, that the scriptures are our authority? No, not a pope, not a king, not a government, not the EU. Are we still Protestant attitudinally? Or have we faded and begun to see things the same way that everybody else sees it? I think the answer is pretty evident. We're not all we're supposed to be at this time. Anyway, back to our text. Moses tells the people this thing, and yeah, things have sort of, since the last time he spoke to them, things have sort of spiraled downhill. And what's their reaction? They're indifferent. They're not paying any attention to him. They don't, they don't think he can deliver him, and nothing's happened so far, except that we're under worse situation than before. So the people are demoralized. They refuse to listen to Moses. And the Bible calls this, in the original language, a, a shortness of spirit. They have a shortness of spirit. Their, their faith muscle is, is atrophied. But God has a regimen uh, just now that he's working. He's going to bring them up to a spot where they're able to be delivered and to practice, to exercise faith. So let's see what happens. We'll carry right on tomorrow morning.